channel if you're new here welcome my name is Ashley I make healthy lifestyle videos beauty content fashion content travel content all of that fun stuff and I would love to have you join our little community here so welcome okay guys this is a big day it is officially day 15 of my 30-day healthy reset and that means we are officially halfway done halfway done with 30 days of consistency that deserves some congratulations. You guys are crushing it. I am right there with you and we are gonna continue on because we are halfway done with implementing some new habits into our life. We are halfway done with showing what can truly be possible with consistency. And that being said, I wanted to bring you guys up to speed on a little bit of some new things that I've been incorporating so that I can start up some new habits and all that kind of stuff. I'll share that with you in a second, but I just wanted to intro this vlog. Say hey, what's up, how you doing? I'm eating my first fueling right now. This is my golden chocolate chip pancake and it is absolutely delicious. I'm just starting this vlog because we're actually about to head out on some errands. So I'm not entirely sure if I need to keep introing kind of what Optavia is and you know, obviously everything that has to do with that. I don't know, let me know in the comments down below. Do you think we need to keep doing an intro? I don't know. I feel like my people kind of know. <laughs> um, for anybody who's new here, if you're new here and you have no idea what's going on, welcome. This is your people to hang out a while, subscribe. Thank you so much for supporting. I am in the middle of documenting what's called my Schlee's Health Journey series, going through the weight loss component of my Optavia 5-in-1 plan. If you don't know what Optavia is, I'll go ahead and leave all of the information down in my description box below. Feel free to send questions my way. Basics of the program is you consuming five fuelings a day and one lean and green meal a day, all spaced out by two to three hour increments. And that's what brings us into optimal weight during our optimal health plan. So welcome to another episode of my my Schlee's Health Journey series. In addition, we're also documenting adventures from A to Z, where my boyfriend and I are currently spending about a year off traveling the country, exploring place to place, kind of just finding our way and seeing, you know, seeing what this world has to offer us. We're spending time in Phoenix, Arizona right now. We just left Denver. We donated and sold everything in our house and we just left. We are currently in an Airbnb in Phoenix, Arizona for the next couple months. I will be keeping you guys in the loop as we head out to our next destination, but we are on this journey together and we've got lots of fun things going on, so I hope you stick around. Thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to subscribe to my channel, tick the notification bell so that you're notified when I upload because new videos are going live every day this month and I hope you tune in. So, eating fueling number one right now, golden chocolate chip pancake, and we're gonna be heading out to do some grocery shopping today. We are gonna get groceries for the week. If you guys I saw yesterday's video I did a full meal plan last night and so now I just need to go get the actual groceries for my meal plan and make sure I have everything that I need and make sure that I always have a plan and I always have the ingredients in my fridge so that I never have to worry about my lean and green meal it's just figured out for me it's good to go so we're gonna head out and do that I actually really like grocery shopping in the mornings um, I feel like there's just like nobody there and it's like I can just roam the aisles by myself and it's just like really nice Comment below if you're also a morning shopper because it's like the best like weekday mornings when like nobody's there super super fun So we're gonna do that. We're also gonna get some coffee on our way probably go to Dutch Bros Dutch Bro <laughs> The people at Dutch Bros all I think pretty much know that I have a YouTube channel because I'm always like filming me getting my coffee And every time I pull out my camera, they're like, can we say hi? And so like they always wave out the window. It's so stinking cute. So say hi to Dutch Bros They all love you too and they want to say hi to the vlog fam We're gonna grab some coffee and we're gonna get started with our day I wanted to let you guys know as I've been kind of shifting in some new habits during this 30-day healthy reset That's the biggest thing that I wanted to do was get some consistency in my life and actually have some habits that I can fall back on even on my worst days. And a few of the things that I've been adding in are not just regarding fuelings and lean and greens, they're like regarding my morning routine. Like I really wanna get a solid morning routine in, things that I can make sure that I'm doing every single morning no matter what, 
and then they start my day right. So one of those things is putting on my Apple Watch every single morning, right when I grab my phone in the morning off of the charger, which by the way, just fun fact, I put my phone on the charger across the room so that when I go and pick it up, I have to get out of bed physically to go get it. Otherwise, I will literally just snooze it if it's right next to my bed and I'll just fall back asleep for like three hours. So I have to get up and go get my phone and right next to it is my watch and I put it on immediately because I'm really trying to start tracking my steps and seeing kind of what that looks like throughout the day, which by the way, I found out that I'm really only getting like just shy of like 7,000 steps right now a day. My goal was 10, so I'm gonna have to figure out how to up that a little bit, but I just wanted to kind of start tracking it to know. So I put on my watch as soon as I get up, and then I've even started doing this thing where I put a bottle of water, this is actually my second one, but I put a bottle of water, just room temperature water, next to my phone and next to my watch, so that right when I get up, I grab my phone, I grab my watch, and I literally just chug room temperature water. There are so many benefits to starting your day with plain water, room temp, and just finishing like 16 ounces, or what is this? Yeah, finishing 16 ounces, just room temp water. I sit there in my bedroom and I finish the water so that I can start my day after that, and it just starts my day on such a good foot. It's kind of like cleansing, kind of like jolts my system to get started. And the thing is, I don't like doing that. Like, I don't like sitting there and drinking water and waiting to start my day. But the thing is, when you incorporate habits into your life on those days that you really don't want to do it, like, I really don't wanna sit here and drink this water, but I'm gonna do it because I know that it's important for my goals. You're more likely to stick to it. On the day, if you do it on the days that you really don't want to, you're more likely to stick to it on the days that you do want to. So I'm starting these habits. I'm incorporating more new things. And I'd love to know in the comments down below, are there any new habits that you guys are incorporating, especially into your morning routine during this 30 day healthy reset that are completely aside from eating or aside from your food plan? If you have some new exercise routine, Routines, anything like that that you've been incorporating I'd love to know down below but those are just a couple of the things that I've started doing I've got some ideas for some new things as well I'm just showing you guys the whole way and showing you as I go seeing kind of what works for me what doesn't work for me and I'm gonna go ahead and do another what I eat in a day vlog we're here for day 15 of my 30-day healthy reset and I'm so so proud of everybody who has been rocking with me this whole way I have not yet gotten to fill out my fueling journal for today this is just from yesterday I need to fill out mine for today and I'll show you guys how I do that but if you guys are not trying in your fuelings with us, I highly, highly recommend. It very much holds you accountable and keeps you on track for the day. So I am gonna go ahead and finish fueling number one here of my golden chocolate chip pancake. We're probably gonna head out and do some errands. I'll show you the rest of my fuelings on my lean and green after that. And I'll also show you guys a little bit of a grocery haul if you're looking for some inspiration, if you're going to the grocery store this week or you need some lean and green meal ideas, I got you covered and we're gonna keep rocking the whole way. So I'm gonna get going. Thank you so much for watching this video and let's get started. If I could run with you And from what I have heard You do the same thing too I wanna say forever We could be good together Guess misery loves company Better to late than never You know we could do better So take a chance and run with me Everywhere we go
forth in and out of the house today, kind of running some errands, doing our thing, all that fun stuff. I'm currently three fuelings in, and I'm gonna have my lean and green meal in a second here, and I'll show you guys what I have. But before that, I wanna share with you a little bit of a grocery haul for my lean and greens this week. I told you guys I was gonna get that done today, and we headed out to the stores today to make sure I had everything I need. If you guys did not see yesterday's video, I already did all of my meal planning for the entire week so that I could go out today and get the ingredients that I need. The only thing that's gonna be different is today's meal might shift a little bit just because I'm running out of time. But everything else is exactly what's on here and I had to get most of the ingredients like kind of from scratch just because obviously we're in our Airbnb and I didn't like already have like hot sauce and things like that. We had to buy everything like when we got here because we had to travel light. So anyway, I got everything that I need, I think, and I figured I'd share with you guys what I got. Almost everything is from Target. I try to keep everything at Target mostly because I love Target and it is my favorite place in the world, but it also is just easy to keep it to like one store. But I did have to head to Fry's for like a couple things afterwards. I'm looking for some very specific ingredients and I'll show you guys what I'm talking about in a second. As far as I know, Fry's is kind of like the local grocery store here in Arizona and I think it's similar to Kroger. Um, in Denver, it was called King Supers, things like that. But we're going, we went to Fry's for a couple things, but almost everything was at Target. So I'm gonna share with you guys what we got, do a little bit of a lean and green grocery haul and see what we got. Okay, so one of the things that I got at Fry's specifically was cauliflower rice. I can't seem to find fresh cauliflower rice anywhere else other than a regular grocery store or like Whole Foods, I think. Um, they have not had just fresh cauliflower rice at Target for like ever or at, I, th I don't think they've ever had it there. So I went and picked this up at Fry's just because I know they have it. And this is actually gonna pair perfectly with our taste test later on this week of the Thai style coconut chicken from the Kevin's Natural Foods. And like I said, I bought these in bulk a while back. We bought like three of them to try. And this is the last one of the three. So we'll try this this week. I'll show you guys what we think. These have turned out to be absolutely delicious. They're just a once a week kind of a thing. So I try to keep it at that. I have just had this in the fridge for a while. I think you can get these at like Sprouts. Um, I think Whole Foods and then Costco is what I've heard. So we're gonna have this as our lean and then we're going to have a cup and a half of cauliflower rice. So I picked that up today. And then for like kind of my idea. So I have this idea that I want to create this week. I don't know for sure if it's gonna be successful. I've literally never done it before, but I'm going to try it on camera with you guys tomorrow, see what we think. So one of the biggest things that I have been missing from kind of the lifestyle we were living before our 30 day healthy reset was we were eating healthy. We just weren't eating like really perfectly and really kind of counting what we were eating. And my favorite thing was like a really good salad. Like some of the restaurants these days have delicious salads. And like when I was younger, I literally could not imagine liking a salad, but there are some pretty bomb salads out these days. And I am determined to find a way to recreate them Octavia style. I don't know. I know that sounds crazy, but I haven't actually found ones yet that I like So I figured I'd try it and see if I could like throw something together and see if it works and whatever So you guys are gonna be a part of that journey this week, but my very first feat of that is going to be an Octavia approved chicken Caesar salad Go with me here. I think it's gonna be delicious. I've, I've concocted this idea in my brain. I think I have all the ingredients and I'm gonna share with you what I got for that. But number one for the chicken of the Caesar salad. So I picked up three packs of thin sliced boneless chicken breasts. And back when we were in Denver, they did not have this at Target. This is like a new thing as far as I'm concerned, or maybe it's an Arizona thing, but these are like the big packs of chicken except thin sliced. So it's easier for me to cook because we don't have a grill here and Zach can't do my grilling. So it's easier for me to cook. I know that it's done. I know I can just do it on the stovetop and it's like fully cooked through. So I got three packs of these because I'm gonna be having chicken for almost every meal of the week. And I figured, I might as well have more, and if I don't end up eating all of it, Zach can have some of it. But got three packs of these, and this should count as my leaner choice for most of my lean and greens for this week. And each one of those is gonna be including six ounces of grilled chicken. So needed to make sure I had enough. Three packs, we should be good. Then for the lettuce of my Caesar salad, I got three packs of the Hearts of Romaine from Target. These. As far as I know, the majority of the Caesar salads I like have romaine lettuce. I considered doing spinach, but I was like, no, nah, I wanna do like 
clutch Caesar salad traditional. Like I want it to just like have the kind of crunch that I'm looking for, all of that. So I got three packs of romaine and I'm hoping this is gonna be enough, but again, we'll see. I've never made this salad before, let alone had it a few days in the week. So we'll see. Okay, so one of the biggest components of this recipe was the dressing. And I think I have an idea for this, but we'll see. So I am going to be mixing two different dressings and I only have one of them here right now because the other one I actually had to order off Amazon and it's gonna get here tomorrow. But the dressing component is actually going to be part Walden Farms, which is gonna count as a condiment. And I wanted to find the Walden Farms Caesar, but I literally could not find it anywhere and Amazon was gonna take way too long. So I got the Ranch Walden Farms and this is gonna count as a condiment. And then on Amazon, I ordered the Wishbone Light Creamy Caesar. And I'm thinking if I do two tablespoons of this and two tablespoons of that and I mix it together, we can kind of make our dressing go a little bit further, if you know what I mean. If we're gonna be doing three cups of lettuce, I need a little bit more dressing. So I think I found a way to make this work, but I'll keep you guys in the loop. I picked up the Walden Farms Ranch Dressing. This was from Fry's. I could not find this at Target. This was from Fry's. I think you can also get this off Amazon. It just was gonna take a little bit longer. Then for a little bit of fun right on top, we're obviously not gonna be having croutons. That would not be on plan. I mean, if somebody wants to try and find Optivia approved croutons, you let me know. But I am gonna be adding a little bit of Parmesan cheese, shaved Parmesan cheese, like shaving of Parmesan right over the top of our salad. Figured that would be really good and this is gonna count as one condiment. And that is pretty much all the components of my salad. I'm gonna be filming a video on this tomorrow to show you guys how I throw everything together. So stay tuned for that. Make sure you're subscribed because you don't wanna miss it. Then this week, we are also going to be making our buffalo chicken pizza. Buffalo chicken cauliflower pizza is by far, at least to date, Zach and I's absolute favorite lean and green meal we have ever had. It is delicious. If you guys have not tried it, I'll link the full recipe video right here so you guys can try it today instead of waiting for my video this week because it is so, so good. Anytime I'm ever like, honey, what do you want to have for your leaning grain tonight? And he's like, oh, I don't know. And I was like, buffalo chicken pizza. And he's like, yep. It's so good. And I'm telling you guys, if you have a husband or a partner or somebody who's hesitant about plan or doesn't really want to eat healthy, make them this. It is so, so good. They're going to actually ask for it by name because it doesn't even feel like you're eating food that's healthy for you. It's crazy, it's so good. So we're gonna be making that out of cauliflower. I bought a head of cauliflower so that I can grind this up in my food processor and use it as the crust for our pizza. Also snagged some egg substitute. This is so that I can bind the crust together. And then for the topping, it's going to be the chicken. I'm gonna have some leftover chicken that we put on top. And then the actual sauce is gonna be made up of Red Hot. I got the Frank's Red Hot. I just got a small one just cause obviously we're not gonna be using this all the time, but I just got a really small one for that. And then light ranch dressing. This is part of the sauce as well. And then it all comes together with some of the third less fat Philadelphia cream cheese. I'm really wanting this pizza like right now. It's so, so good. Anyway, so got all of that for the pizza. And then I like to sneak some veggies, extra veggies in there too. I got a bell pepper, just one. I just needed one of the yellow ones and then I'll sneak that in there. And then to top it off, cheese. I get the Mexican style reduced fat cheese from Target. If you guys are trying to find reduced fat cheese at Target, I get a lot of questions on that. Make sure you're looking for the one with the blue. The blue is like easy to see from far away. And if you ever see the blue in the cheese aisle, that's the one you're looking for. This is reduced fat. This is going to go right on top of our pizza and it's going to be so, so good. And then last but not least, I think the only other thing I got here was laughing cow cheese. You know, for some reason I can't find the garlic and herb like anywhere in Arizona. I feel like I might have gotten it once since we've been here, but I don't even know where. Like I can't find the garlic and herb, so it's turned out to be my second favorite is the spicy pepper jack. So that's what we've been doing. I really, really like that on top of my biscuits, on top of things like that. And yeah, I think that is everything in my grocery haul. Also was gonna mention, for the salad, if you are prepping to make this salad with me, this is also the biggest piece of the puzzle for me that I think is going to be the biggest game changer. I bought salad scissors off of Amazon a few days ago and this was like kind of the biggest inspiration for me to want to throw this together, this Optivia Caesar salad. I've heard that if you have the salad scissors, these are toss and chop, it can make your salad from home taste just like the ones from the restaurant. That's what I've heard, I have not tried it yet, but these were the ones that were highly recommended and they literally just go like that. 
and you just chop the salad like when it's in your bowl. I don't know. I don't know why this is like so fun to do. <laughs> but anyway, I would say if you guys want to make the salad with me, this is supposed to be the key key tool to use. So I will link this down below. I'm going to link all of this down below. If you guys are looking to have the same meal plan menu for your week, feel free to do that. Use all of the same ingredients. Like I said, go to Target. Almost everything is there and you guys will be able to get what you need. But I will link this below as well if you guys want to make sure that you have the right salad scissors to make your Optavia Caesar. So that is everything I got. And last but not least, now it's time to make a lean and green. So today's lean and green was supposed to be chicken and veggies, but I don't think I'm going to be able to make the chicken until later and if you guys haven't noticed I'm really behind on editing so unfortunately editing these videos every single day has been pretty time consuming so my days have been a little thrown off and not going completely according to plan because I'm trying to make sure I keep up on editing but I'm slowly getting into a better rhythm and I found a way to be able to go to the gym and upload them since there's faster Wi-Fi all that kind of stuff so today's plan didn't go perfectly but that's why it is so so great to have these on hand flavors of home lean and green meals and I know this is like my third day in a row having a flavors of home but I'm telling you guys thank god I have them because I don't ever want there to be a reason for me to go off plan or an excuse for me to go off plan like oh my god I didn't have the ingredients or oh I didn't have a plan or I didn't meal prep or whatever no these are a full lean and green meal that you can find on the Optavia site on flavors of home they count as a full lean and green plus your healthy fats and I've tried almost all of them and they're absolutely delicious. Like they're not, if you look at it as chicken and rice, it's not chicken and rice, like as in like side of chicken and side of rice. It's all kind of together, almost like a stew or a soup consistency, but it's really good. Like the flavor is there 100% and I really, really like them. So great to have on hand. I literally just have to microwave for 90 seconds and I'm done. This is the chili lime chicken and long grain rice. Actually really, really good. I'm gonna heat this up, have this as my lean and green meal, put all my groceries away. I need to get to editing and I need to get things going for that. So I'm gonna focus on that for now. We've got a couple calls coming up. I'll try to keep you guys in the loop, but this is gonna be my grocery haul for the full week. I'll show you guys how we use all of these ingredients as we go through the week and stay tuned because I am super pumped for an Optavia Caesar salad. So that's everything we got and I will check back in with you guys in a little bit. <laughs> We got everything we need right here Wine and burning chemistry You and me alone You and me alone Inside of our embassy Everything we need's right here Make me sing along, sing along I never thought I'd ever be stuck by you Ooh. I never thought I'd ever be stuck by you Oh, watch me for this pudding was not cold enough. Warm pudding. <laughs> All right, well, I'm back from the gym. I'm here to close out this vlog and literally just realize that my pudding is warm. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna pop this back in the fridge for a second so that this can chill down a little bit because nobody wants warm pudding. Like, ew, no thank you. Um, this is fueling number five for me. I love the pudding so, so much, but just not warm. Not good. Anyway, I'm gonna pop this back in the fridge before I finish the rest of it, but I just wanted to close out this vlog, let you guys know that I am done for the day, and literally also just realized that I did not track properly. Oh my gosh. Sometimes I like will wait a few fuelings later to finish writing out what I'm having, and I went in to finish tracking for the day and literally just realized that I had too many healthy fats. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I didn't even realize because I didn't track it right after I had it. But we were go, go, go today and I was planning on having chicken for my lean and green. So that would have been one healthy fat and I used my healthy fat in my coffee today for my half and half. 
and I ended up not having the chicken and broccoli like I was planning on because I was like doing so much stuff so I ended up doing a flavors of home and that has healthy fat in it so I'm over on healthy fats <laughs> I am just failing today. I am really failing. All I know is, even though I'm over on healthy fats, I did, however, get an extra 16 ounces of water in today because this morning, like I told you guys earlier, I had a full bottle of water before I even left my bedroom. That was great. Only had one condiment, which was my sugar-free caramel in my coffee, and what was that other thing I was gonna say? Oh, and I looked at my Apple Watch. Let me see if I can show you guys. So I'm not at 10,000 steps, but I am at 8,451, almost 8,500 steps. It's not 10,000, but I'll take it. I am trying to be a little bit more active during the day so that I can hit the 10,000 step goal. And I honestly, and I also took some steps today so that I could start figuring out more ways to do that. I think I'm gonna start doing some stretch routines in the mornings. I think that could be good. I just wanna make sure that I'm doing everything I can to integrate movement naturally. I'm not like doing a hardcore workout at the gym or anything like that. I'm obviously in a caloric deficit, so that doesn't make sense, but I am doing light movement throughout the day as much as I can so that it just integrates naturally and organically still having my fueling, still having my condiments and healthy fats, even though I accidentally went over today. But other than that, on track. And I feel like I'm really getting things finally into my routine that I've been wanting to add in for like years. So we're ahead of the game on that. I just wanted to let you guys know I'm going to end out this vlog. Happy day 15 of my 30 day healthy reset. Thank you so much for watching this video. I am going to be popping my chocolate fudge pudding in the fridge for a little bit before I finish that. But other than that, thank you so much for watching. If you guys like this video, please like the video down below as well as subscribe to my channel and tick that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload because I have new videos going live every night this month and you do not want to miss out. Thank you so much for being a part of the vlog fam. We are here for the long haul and I am so grateful that you are here supporting me every single step of the way and I am here for you too. So let's keep rocking it out. Please stay safe, stay healthy, and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys. Baby, let me love you.